Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator Guide video. So today what I'm going to be covering is how to, basically how the copyright works for M Creator's website, how to report it, and basically just an overview based on what the difference between copyright and attribution is because that might get a little bit confusing. So I'll just briefly explain that. So that's basically what I want to focus in on this uh, particular video. I will make a dedicated one for attribution and how to actually provide it and stuff. So on the mcreator.net website, so we'll go to the home page. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can't get that all set up. So we're on the home page. If you scroll down to the bottom, we're going to take a look at the uh, terms and conditions first. So we can actually learn a lot of information from the terms and conditions if we click on that particular page. So if we go down to the bottom here, on the footer we can go to the terms and conditions for the use and then we'll scroll down to the copyright uh, policy which is right here under number seven so all right so there's probably some questions on what the difference is between attribution and copyright we'll get that out of the way first right off the bat attribution is when you have when the content is under a specific license for attribution Generally, you are required to give credit to the author on your post, and this can be done through uh, download sites or a certain page that you have dedicated for it, and then link to that particular pr page and just say attribution uh, is included on, and then you link to that particular page so you don't have to like post it all over the place. Uh, as long as you have a dedicated location for your attribution for the content that you're basically using in your mod. Now, the attribution license uh, generally covers, um, allows you to use it with credit. That's basically what attribution means, is it requires credit to the original author. Uh, this also is in the form of a link as well as the author's name. Um, you can also actually make sure that it goes directly to the download page so people can easily download that content. A lot of the sounds in Minecraft are actually attribution. So a lot of the things that you can get from like, I think it's like freesound, sound.org. Yeah, I believe it's this one. Uh, you can filter by attribution. So if we said cat, and then we can go attribution. And there's a difference between non-commercial and commercial. Generally, just click on the attribution, and then you can kind of find the sounds that under or that are under the attribution license. So basically, there's a difference between the non-commercial and commercial. Commercial is um, basically when you can use it commercially and stuff like that. I'll do a completely separate video on this and link it to the video when I have it made. But going back to the policy when you're copywriting something it's basically when you don't have permission from the original author and it's not the content that you have created yourself any content that was created by you is basically owned by you so that's the gist of it if it's open source then it's it's under its own license but uh if it's all rights reserved or something like that then you have per you have the ownership of the actual thing and you can basically regulate what kind of content that you have. So how does this affect your account if you get a strike basically for a copyright? So any infringing materials of termination on accounts that repeat infringers uh, intellectual property rights. So basically this right here says that if there is any particular part that is repeated offenders, their account might be uh, terminated under you know this particular act so if you keep doing it you're going to get banned from m creator simple as that and by creating a different account or whatever that would basically violate you know the other other policies and stuff like that <laughs> anyhow just make sure not to do that if you get a strike make sure to review your mods and stuff and make sure that you're not using the content I'll, i know a lot of people team up with other people and they're not aware that they're using stuff from other things this is a good reason why working on your mod yourself is a lot better than working in collab especially when you don't know where the content is actually coming from if you trust the person that really doesn't mean anything because 
because people can still get lazy and stuff like that. So just make sure that the content is not copyrighted. All right, so let's move on to how to report it. And that will basically consist of either the legal version, this is like the worst case scenario, say Hilo doesn't remove it and it's still up for some reason. Maybe there wasn't enough evidence to actually take it down. Then what you can do is you can follow these steps right here. Under most website things, if you report something that's copyrighted, it will cost the website owner money for this. So if that is an expense for the website, chances are if you just report it to them directly, they will handle it without needing to do these steps. In this case, reporting it on the forms or directly to Pilo through the contact form will most likely get them to review it. And if it is applicable, if there's enough evidence to take it down, they're going to take it down regardless if you have to fill out this. Generally, it's just an extra expense if they have to go through this whole process. A lot of sites will want to mitigate that as much as they can without needing the ex extra expense and stuff. So with that being said, let's go into how to report it now of the two places that you can report it. So if you go to Pilo down here and then click on this and then go to the contact up at the top here, you can basically fill out your name, your email address, and then what you want to say. So make sure to include proof. Uh, with that being said, uh, the other method is without providing too much information, uh, this is like where you would contact for the um, this part right here if you needed to. Or you could just basically do the rough draft and just say, hey, I want this taken down because it's, it's copywriting my X content or my mod or whatever. The other option is to go onto the forums form and then we'll scroll down to website and community discussion. This is probably the more suited uh, place for this uh, particular thing. And then you would just make a post here if you're already an M Critter um, member. And then you can basically let the, them know this will get pushed to a moderator moderators will review it if it's valid enough then they will hide the modification for the time being and then they'll pass it over to pilo which will make the final decision for whether it violates the copyrights and they need to take it down or not um, if it pops back up then most likely it doesn't meet the requirements for copyrights then you can take further steps through the legal process if you needed to um, generally, they'll probably contact you back, though, if you use the form or whatever and state, hey, yeah, this doesn't really apply or something like that. All right, so that's basically it for today's video. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.